Porous leather like aniline or suede can get oil or grease stains. This can happen if salad oil or lamp oil spills on the couch, oil from other food sources spills onto clothing or diesel drips on the shoes when refueling. The normal tendency is to clean using detergent and water, but that can worsen the damage by causing visible borders around the stain and the grease stain remains unaffected in the middle. Colorlock Fat Absorber Spray can remove relatively fresh oil stains as long as they are not too large. Any stains larger than 5 to 5 cm in size may not be completely removed. In case of very large stains, please consult us for advice. To remove the stains, spray the area with a fat absorber spray and leave to dry. Once dry, the contents of the spray turns into a dry white powder and stain areas turn to a slightly darker yellowish powder. When dry, tap the treated area to remove the powder and remove any residues with a brush. The powder can also be removed with a vacuum cleaner or, if you have a workshop, blow off remaining powder with compressed air. Repeat the process until the powder in stained area stops turning darker or yellowish. In some cases, it's necessary to wait until next day. Grease and fats which are still present in leather move upward slowly and the degreaser spray treatment must be repeated the next day. After the stains are removed, dry leather should be nourished with Colorlock Aniline Protector, an oil spray for leather. But avoid the areas of grease stains, otherwise they can get visible again. To prevent further stains, protect the leather regularly with Colorlock Waterproofing Spray in the future. If some stains and spots remain, there are other methods to lighten up the damage. In case of porous smooth leather, you can stretch the leather and rub it gently. This causes the leather pores to open and lighten the leather, thus making the stains less visible. Newburgh and Suede are sanded surfaces. Darker stains and spots which have not been completely removed can be sanded down. Sand carefully and gently and proceed in small steps to avoid excessive sanding which may cause fiber damage. Always practice and test this procedure in a hidden area. Not every oil and grease stain can be removed completely, but often a significant improvement can be achieved.